You're going to tell me a story. I was going to tell you a story about these terribly, these awful bullies at RTV. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Peter Hill and Stuart Dawes. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. That's right. Norris. I was doing it. No, I no, I was, I was just going to say, you know, you're saying, how could I possibly have been a bully? I don't remember that at all. You're just too terrifying for words. But the amazing thing you've heard earlier is, is how terrified we were of Keatley. Of Keatley? Yeah. I mean, look at the yeah. two of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Well, Keatley came, I mean, Keatley came back. Just, just, just keep him occupied because I'm waiting for Chris's story here. Talk up, talk up. Yeah. Chris, carry on. Well, the story's not exciting. It's just that I remember so well walking into the studio for the first time. I arrived in Rhodesia, went to Rhodesia Television. A guy called Conroy. Do you remember little Mr. Yes. Conroy? Uh, yeah. Conroy? He interviewed me, offered me. Personnel manager. He was the personnel manager. He offered yeah. me $50 a month, I think it was. Yeah. I said, well, I can't wait for that. So we'll show you around anyway. So I thought, oh, I'll have a look around. Walked into the studio and you walk into that room with those lights and the cameras and the. You can't leave here. I've got 50 bucks a month. Do it. And then you walked in and ruined. I nearly walked out. 50 bucks? <laughs> I'm going to double that just like <laughs> No, but you know, these little guys, small guys arriving in Rhodesia television with all those lights and cameras and these big hulking yeah. Martin Norris's and Stuart no. Dawes and Peter Hills walking, Tony De Villiers, Mark Hart Jones. Hey, Dad, how you doing? It was terrifying. <laughs> Keatley <laughs> was on. Hi, Dad. That was you know, a big thing. Graham had That's left when we arrived. He, he wasn't there, but he came back. Yes, sir. He went to Bill away for a while, didn't he? No, he left too. No, he left completely. Yeah. And he came back in about 1973, I think. Yeah. And, uh, but Steve was telling you earlier about how we, you know, when we were doing live ads, had to get from one end of the studio to the other. And we used to get uh, And this Keatley, my new thing. He used to beat us all to the other end. Yeah, he was such a good cameraman. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. His balance. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Fantastic cameraman. The one thing I remember about him is that he was a yogi. And I'll never forget this. He said, you could learn to control your heart. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I remember he, he put his shirt up and he pulled his chest in. And you could actually see the heart beating. And I don't know how the hell he did this. And then he said, now watch. And it just got slower and slower. And so, mm -hmm. It was the most extraordinary thing. You know, Keatley scared me once. He said he could stick a, a, a rope up the one nostril. <laughs> he could stick it up, he could put it out the other one and give it a good clean. <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe it. Oh, I want to see it. This You've got to respect a man who says that. Because I've got a cocaine septum gone. <laughs> Thanks to cocaine or something like that.